I'm glad that you didn't wear the that shirt. Don't pitch me, bro. You know? okay. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, everybody here actually uh, was so excited to pitch you. I said, if he wearing that shirt, don't pitch me, bro. We're gonna cancel this thing. So, um, okay. so they are very excited about telling you their story. I told them no PowerPoint, and uh, we, they will just tell you their story and what they're doing. Okay. And they read your uh, profile, not on your website, but on Wikipedia and all the other sites, how, <laughs> how you are very strict. Yeah. 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 you guys, you're gonna fail, you suck! So what would you tell them? Um, hopefully they will not go back and change their presentation, but what would you tell them? How would you actually sure. interested to hear the story? Um, so we do a lot of coaching with our startups and really the first 30 seconds is where you either win or lose the battle of the hearts and minds of the person listening. So 30 seconds, uh, who's your customer? What's their problem? Um, maybe a little bit on the solution, but don't spend too much on that. One to three specific metrics about your business. Uh, hopefully one or two of those are, are uh, surprising or notable. And then if you have time, uh, you know, maybe addressing uh, how you're different from potential competitors, whether those are incumbents or newcomers. The plan was to pitch for five minutes and then three minutes, and there is, there is no PowerPoint. I understand, like, I need to shorten, uh, to shorten uh, up to the maximum. Actually, I got confused. Thank God I was at the end of the queue. So I just <laughs> threw the slides away, throw the tablet away. I decided to make it as short as possible, just very, well, kind of, uh, Elevation. They were the kind of investor that you would like him to invest in you, but you don't like him to, me to mentor you. You don't like him to talk with you. <laughs> we have one person dying or injured every 15 minutes in the region, in the Arab region. It is actually the number one region in terms of car accidents all over the world. Speaking, I got what you're doing. I understand that's a problem. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that you can do the solution, but it's interesting enough. Uh, I'm just going to give you some feedback on how that pitch was constructed. Okay. Uh, so you spent the first 15 to 30 seconds telling me who you are. I uh, I think it was good. It was not really a pitch. It was just two sentences. And then he, he stopped them in the middle of their beach and he started ta 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 and then boom 15 seconds right it should be this many people did you know this many people die in the middle east or die in africa and every day or whatever right and i'll be like yes i believe that and now your challenge is what's your solution uh you went into solution you played around some demo it didn't work i don't know you started creating questions in my mind like oh okay there's a clear problem here are these guys able to solve this problem it might be more effective for you to not show the solution, right? I think you could just probably state some progress for your business, it, given two minutes, mm -hmm. and the high risk of doing a demo that's not perfect. Like, I don't even know if, you, if that had worked, I might not have been convinced that that actually was you know, something amazing. <laughs> well, I um, But I think the thing that you got across to me that was clear was, hey, here's a big problem that I hadn't thought about. Mm -hmm. right? And you were specific about its tires and brakes. That also caught my attention. It wasn't a big picture story. It was very specific. So I think if you had to reconstruct that pitch, I would be like, hey, here's the problem. There's a big market and it's people dying from car crashes. Here's the issue. It's uh, handbrake, uh, brakes and tires. We know how to solve that issue. If you want to find out more, come talk to me. Right? Or state a, a metric about your business growing or why you can uniquely solve that problem. Mm -hmm. And you probably have me. Right? I probably don't need to hear the rest of it and you actually run the risk of doing a job of explaining the solution and then me thinking that you're not competent on execution or that you don't have the solution solved. Now that may come from practice, but you don't actually need to tell me the solution. Okay. Well, the nice thing is that just after the presentation, I was among the few people, almost the only one, that he came and handed me his business card. It wasn't perfect, but relatively, it was fine. <laughs> okay, hello everybody. I'm Ahmed Saad from Team Crowd Analyzer. Okay, this is my teammate, Baha. I don't care. The thing is, I have to introduce him. It's like a small piece of respect. I have to respect my teammate. So, uh, yeah, you don't care, but he's my teammate. I, I, I do care yeah, about him. <laughs> so we're working on uh, social media monitoring. 
Uh, there's a lot of tools out there doing social media marketing, but the problem of these tools is two things. The first is that they don't support Arabic language. And even you were talking about how the Arabic language is gross offline, and actually the Arabic language is the fastest gross language on the web. The second thing is that all this social media monitoring is messy because they are only providing you with one tool and you have to find out how to use this tool without, without differentiation between the business purpose that you, you want to use this tool. If you, are the one, you want to make like uh, campaign management, if you want to see your repetition in, on social web, if you want to see how the people are giving reviews about your product, all these things is from one uh, certain platform. What we provide to the people that we give you one platform but with different dashboard. Every dashboard is related to different purpose. I started to pitch and I found Dave was like in the in the front of uh, the front uh, chair and he was cheering at me. Uh, I know how I'm gonna start, but I didn't set an end point. So I started to to tell him what's the problem, what's the solution, blah blah blah. So uh, the first point: Hey, we're social media monitoring for Arabic language. I kind of like believe there's some business there. Second point, we do lots of stuff that other people don't do. It didn't convince me at all. I didn't believe it. I don't know whether it's true or not. Don't really care. I don't have enough subject matter expertise to know what, yeah. was, what you were talking about there. Um, so feedback for everyone is you can probably convince me, hey, we're successful thing for Arabic speaking market is probably a real business. The question that's going to go through my head is who else is doing that and how are you different from them? Uh, if you had the opportunity, the thing that I would probably uh, talk about is, do you have any experience in the market that you're talking about? Did you work there? Did you work for other companies? Did you work for other companies that products suck? I had this experience when I was working with this other company on this big multi-million dollar campaign, and this particularly did not work, and we know how to solve that. Uh, when you started to get into the analysis of different Arabic dialects and how you solve that, that was interesting. That showed at least some domain expertise. I'm, you know, I'm probably not as familiar with that as somebody else who's native here, so they may have a tougher uh, bar to get over, but at least for me that was convincing. Very good. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Interesting. I mean, it's a different character from uh, the, fees, the VCs that I, I, uh, I met till now. But it's good to meet someone tough like Dave and had like a strong feedback. There's no kidding. Millions of people wake up every morning and share dreams with friends. And there are no special tools do it. So our offer is a mobile application called DreamNote. You don't have to ask this question, but the thing that's going through my head right now is how do you make money from that? Um, very specifically, when you're a non-native English language speaker, you have to make sure that your elucidation is clear. Uh, so slow down a little bit and try and be clear about the words that you're speaking. Imagine if you go shopping and you want to ask friends about, you know, a pair of shoes that you want to buy for, uh, buy for it. So you can take a picture of those shoes and you can post it in the PQ. Your friends can vote or comment on those shoes in, uh, quite instantly. And imagine if you are uh, doing a pre-election survey in the public members. So you can just simply uh, broadcast the, uh, the question, who is the popular public figure that you want to vote for later on? So that's PQ. We help people make a better decision. So uh, things going through my head is, why can't I just do that with Facebook or Twitter or WhatsApp or other unstructured yeah. sort of communication platforms? So not everybody is having a social media uh, account. So uh, some people don't have social media accounts. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Really? My grandparents know, uh, my mothers know. Even, even uh, grandparents have social media accounts these days, actually. Do you know that 60% of high school kids drop out of school in the United States? 60%? Yes, and do you know that kids... <laughs> <laughs> but... And I, I'll tell you more, 80% uh, of Native Americans are drop out from uh, high school. And the, 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 the other thing that uh, kids who fail in primary school math have a uh, psychological problem in high school and even in adult life. So, and I believe you know two other things, that uh, iPads and tablets become very popular around us and come into schools now. And also I believe textbooks is going to die in the nearest future. It will be replaced by new technologies. I think you can get to the problem statement very quickly. Hey, did you know that most educational software sucks or it's poorly used and most kids have problems because they don't learn math and that creates long-term problems for their career, whether psychological or not, I may disagree. 
Okay, so I think we can understand the problem quickly. Spend 10 to 15 seconds on that, maybe 30. And then solution, why are you different or better in solving that problem? Uh, the, our main difference that we are creating the game. But with the curriculum inside, behind the game mode, behind the game processes. Have you, have you produced gaming products or educational products? This is the both. Hi, how many of you in this room have kids or have been a kid? Did the did school, was school fun? Was school fun or did it suck? It sucked. Wouldn't you love to be playing a game in school that taught you something like Angry Birds or a first person shooter or something else and you could like solve math problems with that? Wouldn't that be fun? Yes. yes. Hi, I'm an experienced game developer and educational software developer. We're bringing the best of both education and games to make kids have fun while they're learning. Yes? Okay, now there's a thousand people out there pitching that same story, and you need to differentiate from them. So it is an interesting area, it's a big problem to be solved, but you need to probably spend less time on problem definition, and more problem on establishing your own domain expertise, and why your approach is different or better. Uh, and if you can do that, then yes, there's a big market to go after. I'm a businessman. I do, I do think that money, time is money. So. Since I do believe that time is money, I will be extremely short. Uh, the problem is uh, what we will uh, solve is that uh, modern games are competing mostly in graphics and there is no uh, sufficient and um, full enough uh, immersion of the gamer into the game environment. So what we, our solution, we provide the physical uh, objects uh, which, uh, which user can use and play with. Yes, there is the one. Uh, the, uh, so, like the ten-second pitch. <laughs> that's it. That's uh, that's why I say. Games for drones. I'm like, awesome. He was so impressed that he even jumped out of the sofa. Yes. Okay, that, the other question is, how good are those games? Any competitors out there, etc. But yes. games for drones. Very short. Sure I can answer all the questions. Go ahead. No, that's it. You're done. Games oh. for drones. Sexy. <laughs> Get off the stage. Get off the stage. Come on.